to install Drupal on your local machine using WAMP server. The first thing you'll have to do is just go to drupal.org and download the latest version of Drupal that's 6.15 put this put this on your hard drive this is uh, my computer so just put it on your desktop uh, I might have a folder named Drupal yep I got this in here 6.15 so I won't I won't download this. Then you just go back to your desktop where it says Drupal. And this is this is your 6.15.tar file. You just have to use the 7 zip. This is a software that's gonna extract all these files. Just just click on extract here and then it's gonna extract this 6.15 tar file and then do the same thing again just click on 7-zip extract here it's gonna it's gonna give this folder that says six, Drupal 6.15 and all the files in here the next thing you have to do is just go back to Internet Explorer or FileZilla or oh sorry Firefox and just type this WAMP server 1.7.4 in Google I tried WAMP server 2.0 but it didn't work for me so I'm just using WAMP server 1.7.4 just go and type this in Google and go for search you find a lot of websites that says uh, free WAMP server 1.7.4 just click on any of these I'm using, I'm using this soft.go.com so I'll just download this as well just browse browse the desktop or your C drive or D drive and save this file I'll save this on my hard drive that says local drive D and I'll, I'll create a new folder for this one gonna take some time so I'll just pause the video okay that's been downloaded and you just have to double click on this one so this one I install uh, on your C drive and just okay it says that automatically launch WAMP server on startup I don't want to do that I've searched a lot of videos on how to install Drupal but I can't find the good ones because uh, I myself had some problems on installing Drupal so and it, it took me long means just more 6 to 8 hours in messing around my system and all my configurations so I'm doing this video from scratch and all the problems I'm gonna face in this video may maybe they are, the they are the same problems you're gonna be facing while installing so We'll just find the solutions for that. Uh, this is asking for the directory for your uh, document root, so we'll just we'll just let it be www and just leave it like this and don't worry about the email address. It says Firefox have been 
has been detected on your computer yes default browser okay this is all done okay the installation has been finished and okay here you can see a small icon on your system tree so if you click if you, if you right click on this one it's gonna show you one point your version for your band 5 it says 1.7.4 so this is good the first thing we'll have to do is uh, just left click on this one and we're gonna put our WAMP server online okay this is this is online now it says uh -oh. okay this is online now and now you can see PHP settings Apache modules localhost PHP my admin so the first thing we have will have to do is just go to your PHP my admin and you will see a home screen of PHP my admin and it says localhost PHP my admin so we'll create our database and we'll name it uh, Drupal Drupal underscore learning and uh, you don't have to do anything else just to say just click on create and you will see a message on the next screen it says your Drupal underscore learning database has been created so that's all done for this website just you can close it now and the next thing you'll have to do is go to your www directory and this one is c colon forward slash ramp forward slash www remember that uh, drupal 1.5 the files we have extracted okay th these are th these are the files in this one drupal 1.5 on your local machine so what you have to do is just create a new folder in here uh, let's let's name it drupal uh, remember that that's that's in your WAMP www file. So I just have to control A, control C, and you just have to copy paste all these files in here. Control V. That's all done now. It says www uh, www Drupal, and it's all files are here in here. Okay, this is this is all done. So now just go back to this window and oh, you can you can go in here. Just go here and just click on this one local host. And just add Drupal, the folder we just created. Now it's it's gonna show this Drupal screen, so just click on install Drupal in English. Okay, look at look at this. It's, it's kind of error message, or it's, it's kind of a reminder. It says copy the dot forward slash sites default forward slash default dot settings dot php file to this one so what we have to do is just find this local